Todd Herman says high performers are not afraid to look at the replay. Did you know that professional athletes have a habit of regularly reviewing the replay from their previous performances? Why do they do this? Because they know that if they don't pay close attention to what they did right in the game and especially what they did wrong, they will never optimally develop their skills and become the best athlete that they could become. Any athlete knows that without feedback from the replay, from their coach and other teammates, it's impossible for them to learn or grow or change. Imagine trying to look your best in the morning without having the feedback of lights and mirrors. Try it. Get ready tomorrow morning with no light on and no mirror to look at and see what happens. Do you look your best? Hardly. How would a baker create a better tasting muffin if she never invited others to give her feedback? Does it need more sugar? How's it taste? Less salt? More chocolate? Fewer bananas? We can only make something better when we listen to and observe what's wrong or not working. But inviting feedback can be scary and intimidating. A few years back, I attended a three-day workshop designed to help speakers improve their speaking. And I had to get up in front of my peers and talk for 30 minutes without using any notes. And at the end of it, the coach as well as the rest of participants gave me some constructive feedback. They critiqued my content, my delivery, my voice tone, my body posture, my use of story, gestures, and my ability to engage the audience. And it was grueling and humbling. But without their feedback, I would never have learned what specifically I needed to do to improve my speaking. I want to become the best possible speaker I can. And feedback is an essential part of that journey. But even if you're not a professional athlete or speaker, feedback is crucial for how you live your life every single day, especially within your relationships. One of my goals as a person was to be a good mother. Growing up, I didn't have the best mother, and I was terrified that I might repeat some of her patterns and fall into some of her abusive ways. So when my children were little, I invited them and my husband to give me feedback on my parenting. And sometimes my kids would, and they'd say to me, Mom, you're yelling, or Mom, you're scaring me. And I would listen and thank them and make some corrections. Their feedback was crucial in order for me to be a better mother. Have you ever asked your kids or your spouse for feedback on how you're doing as a parent or a spouse? Here are some questions you might want to ask them. Do I listen well? Do you feel safe with me? Is there anything I'm doing that's hurtful or offensive to you? What's the best thing about our relationship? What's the hardest thing about our relationship? Do we spend enough time together as a family, as a couple? Is there anything in our relationship that needs to be repaired? Just like your mirror gives you good feedback on your outer appearance so that you can self-correct and make adjustments when you need to, your spouse or your kids can be the mirror that helps you see yourself more clearly so that you can become not only a better person and spouse, but also as a follower of God get to know him better and become more of what he calls you to be. Sadly, most of us do not invite that feedback, nor do we receive it very gratefully when it's given. Instead of feeling grateful that this person has had the courage to be honest with us, we get offended, defensive, hurt, and angry. Our pride is wounded, and we can't bear to hear anything negative about our attitudes or our behaviors. Yet it's that those very behaviors and attitudes that keep you from becoming the woman or man God intends you to become. The Bible encourages us to have relationships with people who can be honest with us day after day because we can all become hardened by sin's deceptiveness. Our pride and our self-deception will always keep us from being all that God has for us. So invite feedback from a trusted friend, from a spouse, from your children. Let them share with you how they see your strengths and maybe a few of your weaknesses. And then ask God to help you be humble enough to receive it so that you can make the necessary corrections for better relationships. If you found this helpful, please share it with others. God bless.